Welcome back. If you love magic and illusion like I do, chances are you are fans of Penn and Teller's Fool Us show on our sister station, Pittsburgh CW. Penn and Teller sit in the audience and they watch aspiring magicians try to impress them with a trick the famous pair aren't able to duplicate. If the magician is successful, he or she wins a chance to perform in Penn and Teller's show in Las Vegas. Hmm. Interesting. Our next guest appears on the show next month. He grew up right here in Pittsburgh and is home for a visit, so we're glad to have him with us on PTL. Welcome, magician. Doc, I'm Thanks excited. Thanks for having me. I, I, I am excited also. This is far more pressure than Penn and Teller. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, just Clearly. take some eye drops. You two don't blink. You're so focused. How did you get into magic? Uh, like most people, like most kids, I got a magic book when I was a kid, a magic kit. Uh, didn't grow up. Mm -hmm. Got hooked in it, started doing it for a living in my mid-20s. Okay. okay. That's, that's been it. Any uh, aspiring magicians out there, what do you tell for them? What, what, what's the advice for them? Yes, <laughs> there is this arcane device. You may have heard of it. It's called a book. <laughs> Reading. A book. I, I meet young people, and it's, ah, if they know a little magic, where yeah. do you learn it? Every one of them, YouTube. I can know books, <laughs> books. And often I'll say, here's my card. Give mm -hmm. it to your parents if they're, you know, if they're young. Go give it to you. Email me, I'll give you a list of books to read. Oh, so good. That's what I did. How did okay. you get picked to be on Penn and Teller? Oh, okay. Uh, every year, uh, the show's in its sixth season now, and every year, uh, in the latter part of the year, they send out the word to the magic community. If you want to be on the show, send us your videos. Thousands send in. Yeah. Uh, there's about 40 some that end up on the show. Thankfully, I was one wow. this year. Wow. <laughs> and you hear that in uh, January, so when they finalize that. And the show is shot in March, early March. Uh, it's like a week and a half of, mm -hmm. you know, back, you know back, how TV back. is. Show yeah. and show and show yeah. and show. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so I, 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 this happened back in March for me. Mm -hmm. I know what I did. Obviously, I know whether <laughs> I fooled them, but I can't tell you. Right. Yep. Because in awe, much as I am in awe of Penn and Teller, I'm in equally in awe of their attorneys that had me sign a non-disclosure <laughs> agreement. Right. Yeah. Well, I'm a big fan of the oh, show. Cool. And I, I just want to know, I mean, you're in front of this huge audience. Are, do, you, do you get nervous? I mean, it's a big deal. No. No? I mean, uh, I've been doing this for a living for 30 years. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm nervous, was nervous up until then. I found a lot of guys like this on yeah, the show. You're yeah. nervous up until then, then you hit the stage, you're in the Rio Hotel, Penn and Teller were there, the adrenaline kicks in, and it's yeah. go time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, you're, okay. well, you're going to do great. Well, you All have right. a trick. I see we cards. See, yeah. Oh, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> okay. I, I, I'm not going to have you pick a card, take one out of the mm -hmm. deck. I'll keep this simple. Just name a card. Go first, any one of the 52, any one you want. And Ron, he's trying to fool us, so pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> Ten of hearts. I, that's a tough, I, I tell you what, I, I can't find that one. I'm going to ask you to find it. Uh, my buddy, Bobby Two Fingers, uh -huh. seriously injured trying that card. Okay, so okay. You'll have to pick it. Name a number from one to ten. Seven. People always pick seven. Seven days in a week. Lucky number seven. I know, he's seven months me. in a year. Right. Watch. Oh, one, oh, ten of diamonds. I got worried for a second. Ten yeah. of diamonds, not ten of hearts. Yeah, okay, ten one, of hearts. two, three, four, five, six, seven. You said seven. You said ten of hearts. Oh, this is going to hurt. <laughs> Uh, let me check your sleeves here. <laughs> here you, 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 so what would have happened if I had have said six? I wouldn't have worked. So go team. All yeah. right, okay. Let's you're, try it on me. I think, okay. I think I might. I, I'm okay. going to get this. All right. okay. okay, what do you want? You're going to get them? Yeah. Um, uh, no, not that one. That's a tough one. Don't do that one. Uh -oh. Think of another one. That's the one. Jack of diamonds. That's a tough one. Tell you what, name a number from one to ten. One. That's what people want. They want to mess with me. They pick. Me. <laughs> I want to mess with you. Get the shot somewhere inside the deck. I, I hope this works. One. <laughs> Wait one second. I, I, it's it's all do? you. Did you what, get it? What's if you in your sock. <laughs> I, what please, my please sock? stop touching the magician. <laughs> I, I know, wife, seven kids. I'm ter now I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified. So, so do people ask you all the time, like how you did this? I'm sure that's sure, like the sure. number one question. The, the 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 number one question is how did you do that? The number two question is like just mentioned, wife and seven kids. Right. How do you make a living doing that? <laughs> and here, can I show you that now? Sure. Yeah. sure. Okay. Uh, other than you know, we met at Kennywood sure. uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. last yeah. year. I'm I'm there, but I also do a ton of things for corporate America where I'm doing things with their products. Mm -hmm. And one of my clients is big restaurant supply company makes this kind of stuff. Uh -huh. So watch. I'm going to shuffle the cards in the shaker. 
I've never thought about shuffling no, cards in a shaker. <laughs> Does that work? Well? I'm, on, I'm on the road a lot. I have a lot of free time. <laughs> so, okay, cards cards all mixed up in the uh -huh. shaker, yeah. just more more just than a normal shuffle. back and forth, too. Okay. Yeah. okay. Now, I've actually mastered something called precision shuffling. Okay. It's, it's where you can do this with a shaker. It's awesome. Name a number between <laughs> 1 and 10. 9. 9. <laughs> oh, it's a tough one. Okay. There are four nines in the deck. Hearts, clubs, spades, or diamonds. Which one do you want? Um, diamonds. There's a lot of pressure. Diamonds! <laughs> okay, wow, okay. I think I got it. I make no guarantees. Okay. You're, You're actually rooting against me. I can feel it. Okay. Makes for good TV, though. Such okay. so suspense. <laughs> I know. Empty, no, empty, empty. Yeah, it's, it's a normal cup. I got it from the green room, but I love the mimosa fountain you have in there, by the way. I asked Jill why. She said, hey, we take prevention of scurvy seriously. I'm focused. Nine I of diamonds. Like Can we look through here? Well, there's all the cards. They used to be mixed up, but now tell me that they're all the same that's... way. I I'm afraid. Would you take a show? Uh, all righty, <laughs> no. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. You fooled us, Dot. <laughs> Where's the Thank trophy? So much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, Doc. Thank you so much Good for having luck. me. Good luck. Watch for Magic, uh, Doc Dixon, on Penn and Teller's Full List on September 9th on our sister station, Pittsburgh CW.